In the previous video, we designed our money-making website on WordPress using GeneratePress theme, which is also suitable for AdSense. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the plugins I use on my main website. Okay. So uh, yesterday, I told you that uh, I'm going to destroy the the demo site we made so that I can focus on the main website because that demo website was just draining my resources on my server and the funds yeah so this is my main website is kithrens.me okay so in this video i just want to show you the plugins i use so that you can get to understand and also uh, know how they work and what they do and how they can help you make money so the first plugin as you can see right here which is here is um is a kismet and spam so from the wording itself you can hear and you can learn that it's all about preventing spam so a kismet spam is the plugin which helps me uh delete spam comments okay i receive about 500 spam comments per day on my website so a kismet helps me with that because on my own i can't really manage to delete all the 500 to 1000 comments per day and all these, and they're not from real people, they're just some bots. So the traffic from these bots don't even matter. Yeah, so it can't help you in any way. So, and the second plugin I use is AMP WP. Okay, I'm going to talk about what this is in more details. Okay, so for you just to have an idea for now, just consider AMP as the fastest version of your web page. Okay, let me show you a video I'm from making right now. So that you can get to understand how AMP pages work. I'm sure you've seen these type of pages. So for example, here, if I go to Google using an Android phone, and let me play the video. Okay, so if you open uh, your Chrome browser and search for anything, it's going to show up an AMP page on top. Okay, an AMP page has got... Uh, something which looks like a power symbol okay this is an amp amp symbol the one you can see here which means that if i click on this page the page will load almost instantly so whenever you search something on google and you see this kind of symbol here where i'm pointing just know that that's an amp page and the page will load very fast or instantly okay yeah so when you see that thing just click on it the website loads almost instantly so as you can see this is an amp page okay it's loading almost quickly okay so for example let me go to my website so it maybe get to understand again more better so this is my main website okay so let me just copy it control plus c so the amp version of this website is just add a a n p to access my amp page the a m p to access the amp page okay so these websites here yeah, there are two different websites okay although it's one website this one is the normal website and this one over here with an amp extension is the amp page okay i know uh, they don't really look alike but they're just the same amp is more like focuses on speed and usability so this is the amp page it's the fastest and that's how amp pages work so let's go back to our plugins here i'm going to make a full video on amp uh later on okay so the third plugin i use is bunny net Okay, so Burninet is a CDN, is a uh, content delivery network. It helps me uh, save my WordPress files to people very fast. Okay, so I'm going to talk more about what a CDN is and how it works. But as for now, just know that uh, it makes my website fast. Yeah, so that's what you should know as for now. And the fourth plugin I use, which is this one over here, is Easy WP SMTP. So, what does this plugin do? This plugin just actually uh, it helps me send emails uh, to people and to myself. So, for example, when you create an account, you're going to receive a confirmation email. 
So this plugin is going to help me send emails to people that should confirm their emails or maybe there's a new post. Okay, it's going to help me deliver emails. So this is the plugin I use to deliver emails. If there's something wrong with my website, the website will notify me that this and this, this and this. Okay. Okay, so uh, the other plugin I use is Email Octopus. Okay, I really use a lot of email marketing plugins, but uh, this one is the hardest email marketing plugin, but I'm going to uh, show you how to configure one, which is the easiest the easiest one. So for now, just ignore this one. Okay, and the other plugin I use is Flying Analytics. Okay, so Flying Analytics, what does it do? Okay, so when you now uh, to track how many page views I get, how many users visit my website, I use Google Analytics. So when you sign up for Google Analytics, you're given a code of which you have to place on your website for you to be able to track people visit your website. But the bad part about this code is that um, it slows up your website, okay? Because when you add to your website, your website will be slowed down by almost fifty percent. Yeah, to be very slow. So firing analytics, it helps me keep my website speed without slowing it up when you add to Google Analytics. So I'm going to show you how you can host your Google Analytics locally in the later video. Okay. So the other plugin I use is Flying Pages. So what does Flying Pages do? Flying Pages just, it reloads pages before uh, you click on them, okay? So when you visit my website and you try to click on another page, you can notice that my page loads almost instantly, it's very fast. It's because of Flying Pages and some of my optimization skills, okay? The other plugin I use is Flying Scripts, okay? Flying Scripts, you're going to understand this later on. The friend scripts it helps me uh, prevent other scripts from loading until the page loads completely. Okay, for example, scripts like AdSense, I can make my AdSense ads to load after the website has loaded. So this helps me uh, make my website fast because the adverts will load after my page has loaded because. If adverts load before the page is loaded, that's why we see that the page is very slow to load because of the adverts. But as for me, no one has complained about my website loading slow because the adverts load after the website has loaded. Okay, the next plugin I use is HFCM, is Header Footer Code Manager. So what does this plugin do? Okay, this plugin helps him to add uh, HTML code uh, javascript codes my website without uh, stressing okay uh i'm going to show you more on how this really works in the next video okay so the other plugin i use is inline related post so let me just show you what this inline related post look like or what it does Okay, so this is a post on how to start a blog in Zambia. So let me show you the how that plugin works. Okay, so as we can see, uh, this text over here which says recommended for you. Okay, so it helps me get more page views on my website. Okay, so it just it brings up some posts which are related to the post there, which people can also read to learn more. So this is what this plugin does, the inline related post. Okay, it shows in the related post as people are reading. Okay, so the other plugin I use is lightweight contact form. I'm sure by reading it, you can know what it is. So a contact form uh, just helps me, uh, people contact me on my website so that they can, they don't have to copy an email address and open Gmail to email me. They can email me right from the same website to my page. Okay. Yeah. So that's how it works. In the subscribe to comments. Okay. Let me show you where it is. This subscribe to comments is right here. Let me just scroll down. Down, down, down. Okay, let me just close this.
okay so as we can see this tick box that's what it does so when you tick this box when you comment and when i reply you're going to receive an email that i've replied to your email so but if you untick this and i reply to your comment you're not going to receive any notification that i've replied to your comments so this plugin helps notify people if comments have been made or on the post of which they commented also okay the other plugin i use is light speed catchy uh this is a big topic i'm going to make a full video on this one what it does and why you need it okay so the other table i use is lucky wp uh, table of contents i'm sure you saw them so let me just show you where they are okay, let me go back to the blog again and let me just scroll up again so the table of contents is this one here it just shows about what's in the post what are people going to learn in the post or what are people going to find in the post so it just outlines what's in the post what people can get to know if it's what's the if it's something they would want to read about okay it can also save people's time for example uh, if we don't want to read something and want to read something more specifically for example if i would like to know how to monetize a blog without reading all this stuff above here i can just click here and to redirect me to the heading on how to start a blog so as you can see i've jumped to almost half of the page without scrolling this can really help me and the other people uh read fast and get what they are looking for real fast okay the other plugin i use is pre-party okay i'm going to talk about this later on for now just ignore it okay okay the query monitor for now ignore it okay so the schema and structured data for wordpress and amp this is the plugin that helps me rank my post on google i'm going to make an entire video on this one as well then smart crow smart crow is a search engine optimization wordpress plugin it's the one which i also use to rank my post in search results i'm going to make a full video on this one as well so be sure to subscribe and like this video and comment if you have questions Okay, and the other plugin I use is Visual Model Related Post. Okay, so I, I'm sure you saw the post where it says recommended for you. Let me just show you over here. So before you are about to finish reading this post, you're going to see this recommended for you. After recommended for you, you're going to see the related post. Okay, so th these related posts are coming from this plugin called Visual Model Related Post, and you're going to see them. And this plugin over here, WordPress Importer, I'm sure from this name itself, you can know what it does. Okay, it just helps me import posts from my other websites. You can also uh, export in case you are moving your website to another host. You can use it to export and import. And the other plugin I use is WP Auto Republish. Okay, I have a lot of posts. Some of them I wrote them in 2019. Some of them I wrote them in 2020 so blogging is not all about writing posts every day it's also about updating the posts you wrote in the old days to make them relevant and now okay adding some other things and updating them okay so it's hard to find those old posts in your wordpress so this uh auto republish it publishes the old post and when it publishes the old post i'm able to edit them and update them so it makes them easier I'm also going to make a new video on this one soon. As for now, uh, ignore it. So WP my links. Uh, if you are an Instagram influencer and if you have used some, um, uh, um, okay, let me just show you what this plugin does. Okay, so I'm sure when you go to my Instagram page, let me just go to my Instagram page real quick. Instagram dot com uh, keith do trends okay so let me just go over to my instagram so that you can see what i'm really talking about right now
okay so this is my instagram page so when i click on this bio link over here okay it's going to open up the links so this is the wordpress plugin that helps me uh create a page like this one so on this page i can write in some new post link okay new videos anything so i can add anything on this link so this link has everything people want to click so let's go to my youtube link tiktok link uh, instagram link linkedin twitter and facebook all under one page and in an easy good looking way <clears throat> so this is what this plugin does and i'm going to make a full video on this one too uh, in the next videos so let's go back again we finish all the plugins we have okay so that plugin is wordpress db manager so this is a database manager it helps me speed up clean optimize my database okay as for now i'm going to make another full video for this one so that we can understand better okay i'm sure this is the last plugin i use yeah it's the last plugin i use okay so you really need to keep a few plugins on wordpress and you really need to choose lightweight plugins plugins that don't throw up your website plugins that don't use up most of your resources and plugins which are free so this is it about the plugins i use so i'm going to make four videos on each of the plugins and how to use them to make a website better faster and uh easy to rank on google so if you have any other questions feel free to comment and don't forget to support me by liking this video and subscribing Bye for now.